night as it was occupied. Peering carefully at the two beds, they could just make out the lumpy shapes of the slumbering occupants. Their Spanish leader adopted a commando-like stance and beckoned them to follow as he crept past the beds to the sliding glass doors, which led to a balcony. Buridan stifled a fit of giggles as they reached the doors. A stern look from the team leader shut him up. They arrived on the balcony with a click of the latch and a swoosh of the sliding door. Graham and Buridan shrugged silently at each other, too drunk and confused to question the owner. The Spanish action man took off his dressing gown and threw it to the adjacent balcony, the balcony of the boys' room. He clambered up the enclosing wall. He stood still for a moment, a slight breeze catching his stripy pyjamas, before he leapt the three-foot gap. Hi, I'm Nigel Green, author of Beridan the Boomer.